Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well and welcome to this video. Uh, this is a pretty exciting video for me because uh, as you know, I love 4D Bricks products and the way they're working towards automating trains and stuff like that. But uh, some of the feedback they got was that you couldn't control the power function trains as well as the signal lights that you had, the, uh, the sensors and the switch tracks motors that they uh, supply. So the guys in 4D Bricks have been working on a Wi-Fi controller for trains and it's this little thing. So this is, uh, hasn't been released yet, but uh, 4D Bricks sent me this so I could test it and uh, show it off for you guys. And this has got me really excited because it means that I can now control the trains and they work with the signals, they work with the switch tracks and everything like that. So I've put together a very, very simple demo. Uh, my program skills are uh, fairly basic, so this is a really simple demo, but hopefully it demonstrates the potential that this system has. I know in the end, I will be running a couple of these controllers at least on Duncton, and it gives me the option to run down to sort of like have a double track in one part and a single track in another part. But uh, yeah, there's, there's loads of different options coming up now and it's really exciting. So instead of me yammering on about how great this is, let's just uh, take a look at it. Okay, for the sake of this demo, I've placed the controller in my little red passenger train. I just took out the IR receiver that was in there before and place the uh, the Wi-Fi controller in there. It's five long and it's four wide, so it fits in quite nicely and it connects to the power functions battery really well. And as part of the station, I've just placed a sensor here next to the platform. So when the train goes past, it triggers the sensor. And at the end of the platform, I've placed a light, which is the signal light here, and it connects to a small starter. Um, controller here which has the light and the sensor connected to it. Okay so the lights we've seen before, the controller we've seen before, the sensor we've seen before, the Wi-Fi controller is new of course in the trains but uh, also new is a web interface to control the trains. Now I've got the software running on a laptop which you have to have in order to uh, plug the controllers in and everything but the web interface is new as well so I can now control not only the lights but I can now control the train. So if I uh, press this you can see that and the train just starts just like that. Now I've got some automation running and everything like that so we'll just wait for this to come around and uh, you should see if I just set the light to green to uh, I've just set the light to red there so there you go and when the train comes in it stops at the station so that is pretty cool. So here's a quick look at the software and what I've configured. So I've got a light in one end, as I've said, and I've got the sensor by the station. And in the light, there's some extra code that is uh, added. So basically it just says that if the light's off, then, and I click this, the mouse, then turn it green. Uh, if it's already green, then turn it red. And if it's red, then turn it green and make sure the train's going. So that just makes sure that the train is gonna be running uh, when the light is green. Now the next bit is uh, with the sensor. So the sensor is set up so that I can, uh, if the sensor is triggered and the light is red, then the train will stop. Otherwise it will just, the train will keep on going. So you can imagine you can do this with switch tracks as well. And if you have a switch track that's uh, switched, you can have a condition where uh, light turns red, it stops the train and then it waits for, I don't know, another train to go by, then the switch can go back to its original configuration and then light can turn green and then the train can go. So there's there's lots of possibilities. It's a, it's a really, really cool system and this is certainly exciting. Now, if you're not into automation and coding and all that lot, then you can still use the Wi-Fi controller just simply through the web interface. So now uh, I've still got the automation running on this so the train will stop when it gets around in the station, but I can start it just manually. So there you go, I've given it 50% power going to the motors and that's the train running. So that'll go around the track and then it will stop once it gets back to the station because I've got it, well, I've got the signal set to red. So there you go. And here we go. There, it stops. 
It's brilliant. I absolutely love the potential of this system. It's fantastic. Uh, I really do want to pick up a second Wi-Fi controller when they become available. I'm not sure when that is. I know they're really busy producing the new uh, controllers and new products that they're bringing out and everything. If you want to check out 40 Bricks, then you can check out their website. I'll put it in the description down below. Now, also, um, if you've never heard of 40 Bricks before, then you can check out my playlist of 40 Bricks stuff that I've reviewed before and shown off before. And you'll get an idea of what the kind of stuff they've uh, they're doing and where they want to go to uh, but this is a massive step in the right direction it's fantastic it works with the signals works with the sensors it works with their switch track motors and everything like that and it's just brilliant i absolutely love it uh, on separate dunkster bricks news there is now a postal address where you can send fan mail and things like that people have contacted me in the past wanting to send me stuff so uh, i now have a mailing address and it will appear let's see we can put it there it's also going to be in the description and it's on my about page in YouTube as well. So check that out. And uh, if you want to send stuff, you can send drawings, pictures, whatever you want. Send it along to that postal address and we can start doing mail time as soon as, uh, well, if mail starts arriving, I will start doing mail time. Uh, live videos and stuff like that. I do mean to do some more streaming videos. So there are some coming up with that. I've got the uh, Star Wars sets I picked up from Philly Brickfest. I'm just cleaning them. I've ordered some... Uh, parts with some broken pieces in one of the sets that should be arriving in Bricklink soon so there will be a live build coming up where I'll be building that so there's lots to come anyway but uh, yeah the 40 brick stuff that I've showed you the wi-fi controller really really exciting so if you've enjoyed this video then you can give it a thumbs up uh, any comments or questions then you can put those down below and uh, for all the details for 40 bricks in the descriptions down below as well as the new fan mail postal address so uh, yeah, I will uh, see you in the next one.